this is going to be a quick video on mini OS bookworm XCFE and it is the 64-bit version mini OS is a compact operating system it is designed for everyday tasks and this is I'm reading this from the website it's designed to run on slow older systems minimum system requirements are 768 megabytes of RAM for 64 bit, 512 megabytes of RAM for 32 bit, and a 1 gigahertz processor, and just 700 megabytes of disk space. Um, this laptop has 4 gigabytes of RAM, but it's got a slow AMD A4 1200 processor. That is a dual core processor, but I think it runs at 1 gigahertz. Don't think it's got turbo. Unlike the sort of Celeron N3060s, which do have turbo, this doesn't. It's very low power, but it's also slow. So you think, great, it's got four gigabytes of RAM, which is plenty, but the processor actually slows it down. It's an APU, so it's got built-in graphics. And this laptop, I think it's got a 1920 by 108 for ATO screen. It's full HD. It's also a touch screen, but I've never really seen a Linux operating system that has a good uh, reaction to touch screens. If there is one, please leave a comment below. Um, yeah, so this should be starting. This is real time. I've not paused it or sped up the video. Um, so you're waiting. I'm waiting. Fail to start. Smart Mon Tools service. Um, we're still waiting. Let me move the mouse, see if we have anything. Uh, this screen's quite reflective, but it does have good sort of colors and things like that. Okay, this is mini OS 4 standard. It looks nice. Got a terminal, file manager, web browser, accessories, task manager. Put that over here. Graphics, internet, Firefox, ESR, settings. FCE system install configure let's run a terminal package database is outdated so we should update that let's see if we've got NeoFetch top and um, what is it using it's using about 925 megabytes of RAM at the moment. Let's see if we've got HTOP. Yep, we've got HTOP as well. So that says it's using about 604 megabytes. So as you can see, this processor is slow. Nothing much is happening. We've got, just got a couple of task monitors and the processor usage is really high this is yeah definitely a slow processor let's have a look if we've got any sort of information about the system there are three versions of mini os there's um this is standard um there's ultra and there's another one that's in the middle and as you go up the range the iso file gets bigger but you get more tools. So this is the smallest one. And can I actually browse this? Um, failed to mount. Okay. That's fine. But yeah, this is a really small ISO file. It was about 690 megabytes to download. And I'll see if I can connect to the internet. I've been having problems actually with this laptop trying to connect it to the internet. 
to my Wi-Fi network. Keeps kind of disconnecting, failing to connect. I don't know if my Wi-Fi network's decided it doesn't like the amount of connections I've got, or it might just be this laptop and its Wi-Fi adapter might not be very happy at the moment. I've tried plugging in a little uh, TP-Link Wi-Fi adapter. That's not connecting either. I might go and switch my Wi-Fi router off and on again to see if that helps. Okay, I switched my router off and on again and it let me connect and it seems to be fine. I don't know if there's some kind of limit on the number of devices, but um, this is the mini OS website and seems to be running fine. This laptop does actually have a fan in it, um, so it does get a little bit loud compared to the HP Stream laptops that don't have any kind of fan or active cooling, they've just got heat sinks. This one has a little fan so it will start spinning up and there's a little air vent over on this side. So we've got three tabs open at the moment. Things are going pretty slow. So the Wi-Fi on this is running really slowly. I'm not sure why, but it's taking a really long time to load this mini OS website. Um, Let's just go to YouTube and see if we have any luck there. The processor is really struggling and we're not even on YouTube yet. It's a shame because I was thinking this laptop's quite interesting because it's got both a VGA connector and an HDMI connector. Whereas a lot of laptops these days only have one or the other. Often they don't have both. I did use this laptop for a file server for a long time. Have a look on old PC Gunk for uh, the other videos there. Pretty sure no one will be trying to use this laptop in 2024. 2025, I don't know why it's suddenly gone up with a different search than the one I typed in. Maybe I accidentally pressed return. And you'll notice that the mouse pointer disappears because it's too busy not coping. And again, it's come up with some other search result. Um, why, I really don't know. This is quite frustrating. I suspect on better hardware this would run okay but this is just showing 
mini OS on this laptop. This is probably the slowest laptop and the slowest bit of hardware I've got that has built in Wi Fi. Um, right, let's see if this actually searches. Um, yeah, without going to sort of a Windows 98 machine or Socket 7 or an Athlon system. I suppose I do have actually some older hardware, but I'm not sure if it works. So this is probably the slowest working laptop that I've got. And yeah, this is not. This is not coming up with this expected results, but let's just see if I can play any of these videos. I'll close these other tabs because they're not really doing much. Yeah, it's trying to play the adverts. That's better than some systems. We're using Firefox as a web browser. Let's see if I can skip the advert. I'm pretty sure this has got a dead battery. Yep. I've right clicked on this. Um, hmm. Okay, we've got stats for nerds. And it's using AV01. So that should be the H264 codec. It's dropping a huge amount of frames. 851 dropped of 1,400. Um, I hate this picture in picture stuff and wish it wasn't there. Let's see what settings we've got. So we'll switch off annotations. It's at 360p and it's really struggling. Switch off stable volume. Getting an advert. And that's switched to VPO9. So this A4-1200 does have a built-in graphics. It is an APU um, and it's a Radeon something. So graphics wise, it might actually be all right. But the actual CPU processing power is really weak. Then we've also got a fairly weak Wi-Fi signal. Um, so that's not going to be helping. But I suspect if we had a local video file, we might be all right. So let's see if I can find something. So I've just downloaded these, one of these files. It says Big Book Bunny 1080p, 30p and 65p. I actually downloaded quite quickly about 2.5 to 3.5 megabytes a second. So maybe the Wi-Fi is okay. It's a little bit slow to respond, um, but once it does actually start downloading, it goes quite quickly. And I've ended up downloading them both twice. So let's just have a look and see what this playback is like. And hopefully the video is acceptable. Um, hmm. 
maybe we don't have a video playback bit of software installed we should I guess be able to open it in a web browser So this is 30 seconds, 1080p, and it's struggling to play it back, as you can see. I've not installed this on here. This doesn't have a drive, and it is all just running from the USB and from memory. So we can't really expect miracles. Um, but yeah, that wasn't great. So this is mini OS 4 standard. It's got some basic tools built in on the standard version. If you go up to the next level up, there's more tools. And it looks quite nice. It's quite polished. Um, you're up and running quite quickly. And this is a low power machine if you've got even a slightly better machine than this, you're going to get much better performance. So yeah, this was a quick look at Mini OS 4. I'm not able to advise on whether you should or shouldn't be using this. Um, feel free to leave a comment below. But yeah, I think that's a nice thing about these old laptops. They're super cheap because they can't run Windows 10 or 11 very well. Can't run much very well this laptop actually, but it does give you the opportunity to have a play around with different operating systems quite quickly and easily. And I've used the Ventoy for this and it worked really well. So thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe, check out my other channel and leave a comment. Thanks, bye.